I, I think of all the mods that have ever been made, this one specifically isn't one I've ever thought I would need or ask for. Hey guys, it's me, Ice Horror Productions, back in the world of Hearts of Iron 4, and today we're going to be trying out a couple new Focus Tree reworks. We have the Balkan Expansion one, and we also have the German Focus Complete rework one, which, uh, yeah, you might think already, Germany's pretty damn overpowered. Would this mod make them even more overpowered and possibly hold a strong bias towards World War II Germany? Maybe? Oh, would you look at that? Hitler's got himself a brand new portrait. I, I guess the one in the base game just wasn't Hitlery enough for them. They really need to, like, superimpose him, make him brighter, and give him even more overpowered traits. Oh, you know the Balkans expansion mod's gonna be good when, uh, the, the actual Steam Workshop page for it has a DMCA on the top of it. <laughs> it's just... It just fits the Balkan so well. Hey, welcome to Germany, everyone, where there just wasn't enough focuses. We needed to add, like, 50 dozen more. Although, of course, I'm not complaining. It's basically free weapons round. But I am going to have to, like, look through the spaghetti of focuses now and try to figure out what I'm supposed to be doing. I need to figure out which is the historical path to go down here, and I'm pretty sure it must be the liberalizing our economic system one. I, I definitely think that's what Hitler would have wanted to do, right? Oh, yeah. Uh, I don't feel like this is definitely made with a strong German bias at all. <laughs> So with the Balkan expansion mod, I'm pretty sure Turkey, Bulgaria, and Greece all have focuses now, and exactly how this is going to change the game, I'm not entirely sure, but I would like to see a big player down here, whether it be Bulgaria, Greece, or Turkey. It doesn't matter, I'll probably invade them. Unless it's Albania. I I'm not messing with Albania, I cannot handle the Zog right now. God damn, there's so many focuses for such different things. I, I imagine somewhere in these focuses, there's one whether or not Hitler's going to have cereal for breakfast, or just a plate of fruit. You know, now I kind of want to see a mod that just makes all focuses mundane like that. Yeah, so I could go ahead and do the historical thing and get happy with Japan, or I could go ahead and do something a little bit different over here. And would you look at that? The Chinese read my mind. Yeah, whilst I don't specifically trust Franco with anything, I, I also don't trust the, the communists. So uh, have fun with that, Franco. So helping the Chinese does actually give us a bit of a benefit here. They go ahead and give us some tungsten, which is only 16 tungsten, but it might make the difference later on. Who knows? You know what, Bulgaria? Sure. So far, my only ally is Franco and... I don't know about how that's going to go. Would you look at that? I always knew Nazi Germany was quite liberal because we've got new feminism, which makes all women work in the hospitals. Feminism! Oh, well, I didn't know this actually continues, but I've got even more tungsten just turning up in Schleswig right now, which uh, I am not complaining about. Oh my god, the tungsten! It just keeps on coming! Now, I hope this doesn't hurt our relations, Japan. I just need the army XP. I'm totally not being paid off by the huge amounts of tungsten appearing in Schleswig. Oh my god. It just keeps on coming! Oh, bow down to our glorious Chinese overlords! Right, that pretty much shells it. Uh, friendship ended with Japan now. China is my new best friend. Get the hell out of here, Hirohito! Ah, well, yeah, that kind of demonetizes this video. Uh, um, make sure to leave a like and hit the subscribe button, guys, because I'm going to the gulag. Oh, I, I kind of got a bit caught up in the tungsten. Uh, completely forgot about Bulgaria, and now they're gone. Greece just ate them. Uh, I, I kind, kind of needed them, but ne never mind. Yeah, sure. It's 1939. I've only just done Anschluss. Okay, I, I'm really focusing on tungsten right now. Okay, yeah. I only just got Slovenia too, or I'll do Sudetenland soon. Right, yeah. So this is kind of the opposite of a speed run for like Hoi 4. This is kind of just me slowly just taking over the tungsten supply of the world. Oh man, this Hirohito guy's just not getting the picture, is he? He wants to try part I act, which is a. Uh, Pretty interesting considering I'm currently fighting his troops and, you know, bumming the hell out of him in China, but sure, why not? Ah, well, there goes that strong faction in the Balkans I was hoping for because Italy and Yugoslavia just slapped that ass. Uh, yeah, so it's probably about time we go ahead and actually start World War II, isn't it? Yeah. Well, as the Germans always used to say, better late than never. 
I don't think the Germans ever said that. Yeah, also gonna quickly take out the Danes here before they get any bright ideas about the, you know, allowing the Allies to endlessly naval invade through them. Also, you know, while we're here, might as well just invade Sweden. I'm sure they've probably got some tungsten or something I could use. So, you know, that's exactly when the Germans pushed through the, the Benelux. Uh, 1941, 10th of April. Don't look it up on Wikipedia. This is when it happens. I'm your history teacher now, okay? Look at me! Well, I do have to say, playing Germany it is incredibly satisfying just pushing through the Benelux, the Netherlands, Belgium and stuff, and actually going into northern France because it, it, it always looks really pretty damn cool, just absolutely smashing the French and allied troops here, which is, uh, oh, I, I, I just gotta say, it feels pretty damn good. <laughs> well, there's France gone, and there's the most fun part of the war over. Now we just gotta endlessly try and get invasions into Britain. <laughs> Would you look at that? Someone's trying to do the artillery only challenge down here <laughs> against a tank. Do you guys understand what's happening here? I'm just navally bombing the British fleet in hopes that it'll be weak enough that I can actually put my own fleet out and get naval supremacy and invade Britain. Yeah, it's actually pretty standard invading Britain now. It's nothing that special in single player. But what is quite special is I look like I just got a pretty damn big encirclement over here. I'm going to crush these bad boys. And, uh, uh, oh, never mind. They capitulated before I could eat them. Well, that's just a cock teeth. So, America did join the war, but I'm not really going to focus on them. I don't know if I'm even going to bother invading them to end the war. I doubt it. I think we've done that enough recently. Instead, I'm going to go ahead and go east and tackle the Soviet threat. Oh, hold on a second. There's actually a focus that white pieces you with the US, which um, I guess that kind of makes sense if you think about it. I don't think they'd have much to really fight for. Well, we got that peace deal after all, apparently. Oh, it looks like Spain actually wants to join our faction after the war. What the... Hell, Franco? Oh, okay, this is just what Spanish people look like if they don't get their siesta every day. Obviously, when the war started, my troops got pulled out of China, but I thought Japan might actually have beaten them, but no, the, the war's still going on. The difference is now, though, I've been building a lot of really overpowered medium tanks, and I can send 18 of them as volunteers, so we'll see just how well the Japanese hold up against these bad boys. And would you look at that? Not very well at all. It is always very fun, though, to split Japan down the middle like this, because all these troops over here now have no supply and they're going to die. So yeah, there's, there's Japan done with, finally. It's 1944 and the Chinese war is over and China's actually won. I, oh, I just also noticed they took Tibet at some point. What the hell, China? What the hell? So yeah, I went ahead and got slightly sidetracked with the whole Japan war, but it's finally time we take out Mr. Stalin, who I'm sure has been eagerly awaiting our arrival and totally didn't think we were actually going to stick to that whole non-aggression pact. <laughs> oh, Stalin, you're a funny guy. Oh, it looks like we're about to get ourselves a juicy encirclement down here. I might be able to put this one on the Reddit and everyone will be like, Damn! He's cool! Or, you know, just appreciate it for what it is. A pretty big encirclement of Soviet forces. Not like this happens every single game and that the Soviet AI is pretty damn trash for letting it happen. So yeah, after that encirclement happened, yeah, they're up to a million casualties already and the war's been going on for what? A month now? Oh, pretty good. So yeah, our, our advance has stalled quite a bit here. Not, not anything to worry about. We are still absolutely shredding them. I'm sure Stalin's just done that whole not one single step back, you silly boys, or you won't be invited back for dinner. But then he turns the corner and he's like, <laughs> jokes anyway, that there's nothing for dinner. Oh, well, the Japan's smelling weakness wherever it could be. They've decided to go ahead and declare on the Soviets now when they're losing. Hirohito, I understand I have been playing against you the entire game and you've done nothing but try to be my friend. And sure, I sold you out for a bunch of Chinese tungsten, which really didn't benefit me in any way because it's not a resource I was short of, but you've really got to get to a point when you, you've got to understand that Italy has done more to benefit me in this game than you have in your entire life. Italy, Hirohito. Italy! Oh boy, looks like we were having way too much fun invading the Soviet Union because the game keeps crashing every time we get the peace event. It's the only problem with mods like this is sometimes you go ahead, you put all these cool focuses in, but eventually down the line in 1944 when you've just capitulated the Soviets, that focus tree about what Hitler's having for breakfast blows up the game! So yeah, whenever I unpause the game, uh, the game crashes from this point onwards. I did try and go ahead and just actually annex the Soviets through the console command, which is what you're seeing right here, but unfortunately the game still crashes. Um, 
There, there's not much I could do. I think it's just hard coded to do an actual peace deal with the Soviets rather than do a peace deal in the, the, the way the game is meant to be. It's through an event chain. So I, I, I assume that's broken. I don't know if the mod developers are still developing this mod, but there you go. Fix it if you can. If not, I don't really care. I'm probably not going to play this again. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you leave a like at the subscribe button. And feel free to leave me any more suggestions down below on any games, nations, or specific rule sets you want to see me do in this game. Or just go ahead and leave me a suggestion for a different game to play. But until next time, guys. I, I, someone develop the goddamn mod about Hitler's breakfast. Please.